Let's take a look at the mini twin flash reflectors for your Crafty Bell's mini bonnet diffuser. Remember this video here where I was customizing my flash diffuser for the Godox MF12 twin macro flash? On there I placed a couple of cards on the top here. Crafty Bells have come out with these twin macro flash reflectors that do that very job for you. So I'm going to take a look at them today. The Crafty Bells have sent me the reflectors free of charge but that won't affect my review of them. So this is the setup as you would have it. So if you are using a twin macro flash and you have their twin macro flash diffuser, this is how it would be. And in that video I spoke about if you set up the flashes the way they're supposed to be, you get hot spots on the diffuser. So the way around that um, issue of having hot spots is we pull the flashes up so they're pointing upwards and then we place some paper card on the top here so it bounces back into the diffuser. And that's exactly what these are for. So when you get them, you get them in a twin pack. And they come supplied with Velcro here. So you peel off the um, the peel off the, uh, the Velcro. And then you literally just stick those to your flashes. And these will work for any twin macro flash. So you've got the uh, the Canon, Nikons, uh, Yongnuo. I'm currently using the Godox twin macro flash. So they will work for both, uh, for all of those twin macro flashes. Because literally you just stick them on top of your flash head now they have wire in so we can bend them like that i do wish they had wire at the front here so that you're able to bend it also like that that would have been much better than what it currently is at the moment and the idea behind these is again you're shaping your light you're bending it in to your diffuser so the uh, the light's coming up it's hitting the uh, the reflectors and then it's bouncing into the diffuser. Now Crafty Bells claim that this can reduce the power output of your flashes. In my testing I've used a manual setup so it's full manual on the flash, the camera and the exposure doesn't change when I apply the reflectors to my flash heads. However if you're like me and you like your setup just to look that little bit better, a little bit more polished, they do help with that, they do help it look a little bit more polished. But as for the claim of them saving your flash power, I haven't experienced that in my testing here. So here's a shot of my Orchid Mantis without the flash reflectors. And here is a shot with the exact same settings with the flash reflectors. As you can see, there's hardly any difference at all. So I wouldn't go buying these flash reflectors if you're intending to try and save battery power on your flashes because it's just not going to work like that. They do work however to make your setup just look a little bit better. Now, in that video I did state that those little bounce cards are just temporary and that it's it's something I am developing. And what I developed was this, it's a complete hood for the system. So this just simply velcros on top of the entire hood. So that covers up the whole lot. So it covers the whole lot. You've still got the access to the controls. In my testing with this particular hood that I created, it does help a very tiny amount to reduce the uh, the battery output or the power needed from your flash. But I mostly did it because it just looks a lot better. I think it looks a lot better than having the bare system. And that's the same thing that's behind these reflectors as well. Just makes it look a little bit better. But again, it doesn't really add anything to the equation when it comes to your camera settings or your flash settings. So purchase these if you want them. I wouldn't purchase them if it's simply to help with the battery power because I'm finding in my testing it just does not do that. But there is a link in the description for you to have a look at those as well as a link to the actual bonnet that I use. Just bear in mind my bonnet is heavily customized to make this system work like that and I'm absolutely loving that system. Now for anyone who's waiting for the build log to come on to Patreon, it is coming. I've had a slight issue that I'm having to just adjust a few things on there. And as you know, I won't put anything out until I've fully tested it. So that's it for this video, a quick video about the Crafty Bells twin macro flash reflectors. That's where I shall leave it. If you have any comments or questions, let me know in the comments section below. But for now, I shall leave it there. My name's Stuart Wood, I want to thank you for getting to the end of this particular video, and I'll see you on the next one.
I'm going to be taking a look at the Crafty Bell's mini twin macro reflectors for your Crafty Bell's bonnet. Diffuser. Almost said that. To help bounce the light into the main diffuser at the front here, well, Crafty Bells have come up with a solution. The exact same settings for with or without the flash uh, reflectors work. 